Hello, Mackenzie Austin here with The Errant Parent, joining you this Thanksgiving season because we know that the holidays can be a little stressful and nothing settles your nerves more than a good old fashioned home cooked meal. That's why we are joined today by Chef Ali so he can tell us how to make Ali's green bean casserole. That's right, it's about to be your family's new Thanksgiving favorite. Let's go down and see how he makes his today. We are down here in the battle with Chef Oliver as he starts to prepare Ali's famous green bean casserole. You can see he's concentrating on spices right now with a, a really big focus on the salt and pepper. He's going to want you to play that up. Just a little bit more salt, even though we do have individually proportioned salts already on the side. He's going to want you to add some more salt in there. You can really never have enough salt when it comes to uh, these types of situations. As you can see, he's going back with some more spices. It's really important to get that salt in there. Let's give a, a little focal point on what we're doing here. We have some, uh, some crushed toppings here, some kikoman soy sauce, some cream of mushroom soup from Campbell's, some Kirkland cut green beans, and a couple of spices from Kirkland's as well. Oliver, what is your plan for Ollie's famous green bean casserole today? More spices, yeah. Uh, and here Oliver goes with some more instructions. He's still not quite done with all that salt yet. So we're going to have to wait on the main portion of the meal preparation because salt is a very important factor. You're going to want a lot of that in your, uh, in your green bean casserole. Uh, but at this point, we move on to some soy sauce. Uh, soy sauce, as you all know, is a very important ingredient, and you're going to want to use a lot of it here. There's a lot of soy sauce going in here. Um, all right. As you can see, we're mixing the soy sauce now just to make sure it's, it's all nice and in there. But Oliver's decided there's not quite enough soy sauce in there yet, so he's going to add a little bit more. Um, and definitely don't skimp on that. That's a very important ingredient. And be sure to get your spoon and mix that right back up. That's really, really crucial. Uh, and then put your green bean in and then take it out. Uh, the green bean is mostly just to test to make sure that the waters are okay. Give that soy sauce another stir. Uh, replace the green bean back into your casserole dish. And uh, take it out again because that is not a fresh green bean. You can set that aside. Uh, attempt to add more soy sauce if you choose at this point. Uh, it's, uh, it's an optional preference for some people. Uh, now that the soy sauce has been thoroughly mixed, you're going to want to add some more pepper. Pepper is delicious, and it really spices things up in the kitchen. There we go. And don't forget to dump your seasonings on the floor, because those were not meant to go in there. Don't forget to take out some soy sauce with the now empty packet, because maybe you just added a little too much move on into the primary portion of uh, making your green bean casserole at this point. Uh, you're going to want to definitely portion your green beans wisely. As you can see, we have a, a good one going down into the casserole right now, along with some plastic. Uh, that's important. Be sure to put your green bean back in with the rest of the green beans. This will pre-season the green beans with soy sauce. That way, they won't absorb quite as much when you lay them down in the soy sauce bath. It's important to test your cream of mushroom soup for consistency. Feel free to wipe it on some of your green beans. Um, you know, you can also wipe your hands clean in your soy sauce bath water. That's fine. As long as uh, you maintain absolute... Oh, yes. Feel free to cough into your casserole dish. That's fine. It's only going to be served to family anyway, and they probably already have all the communicable diseases that you carry currently. Finally, going back for some more green beans to put into our casserole. Uh, green beans, an important component of green bean casserole, obviously. Be sure to crush your green bean with your plastic dish and then remove it and throw it on the floor. That's very important because you don't want a crushed green bean in there as Oliver tries to make that point. Uh, with his casserole dish. It's important now at this point to reach into your cream of mushroom soup and get some of that in your casserole dish. That's going to come in handy later. It's going to provide a nice creaminess to your dish. 
There we go. Let's get a zoom in on that. That looks great. Oh, yep. Yeah, you can see it's true genius at work here, whipping up this green bean casserole. My mouth is watering already. Chef Oliver, how do you do it? As you can see, he's very focused right now. It looks like Oliver is still working on getting just the right amount of cream of mushroom soup in there. We're going to take a break just for a second to hear some words from our sponsors. We will be right back. We're about to see the green beans go in. Uh, we're back, and that looks like just the right amount, unless, nope, he's thought it over. Um, second guessing how many green beans should go in our casserole here. You don't want to have too many vegetables, or you're going to throw off that potent salt flavor that we tried so hard to get earlier. He looks like he's having a little trouble deciding exactly how much should go in. Uh, so you're going to want to dump some of those on the floor. You definitely don't want all of those green beans going in your casserole because they are going to really hinder that salt content. Chef Oliver, do you have anything to say to your fans? Yeah. A man, a few words, folks. It's important to mix your green beans prematurely with your crunchy topping. You don't want there to be... You don't want there to be too much texture uh, on top of your green beans there. Um, and then we're going to take, let's see, let's get a zoom in here. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. Wow, I don't know how he does it. Oh, yeah, mix everything up in your casserole dish just to be sure it's thoroughly pulverized. You don't want there to be any texture left in there when you're done with it. We can see Oliver's about to do something with his toppings now. Yeah, there we go. You're going to want to get that all in there. Perfect. Sometimes, you know, you've got to crush everything down with the bowl that you have uh, just to make sure that it's a nice, even coating in there. Uh, all right. Well, I think he's done. Let's zoom in and see what we got. All right. You are going to want to bake this lovely creation in your oven at 350 degrees for about half an hour. Uh, this is Chef Oliver teaching us how to make some delicious Ollie's famous green bean casserole to bring to your Thanksgiving table this year. Oliver, do you have anything to say to anybody? Perfect. Well, our casserole has been thoroughly baked and stirred. As you can see, Oliver's still working on it. And um, I'm going to give it a bite because it just looks so good to me. Oliver, can I have a bite, please? Ah, give me a bite of that casserole. That looks great. Mmm. Oh, that's amazing. I really don't know how. I went my whole life without having any more. Oh. Oh, thank you. Mmm. You guys are missing out if you don't make this for your Halloween oh, Thanksgiving feast. You can really taste the salt. Um, yeah, you're going to like that. I know everyone loves salt. I sure do. Uh, you have a lovely Thanksgiving holiday, and we'll see you next time on The Errant Parent.